Hey YouTubers, quick quick two apologies. Okay, one to Nara Taylor, the street performer that I uh, performed a uh, interview with yesterday. I um we had a power outage here in Sydney last night and it was fucked. I was so pissed off. Nine o'clock. I promised her I'd have this video up by ten p.m. our time. Okay, and um and. At 9.08, I'm halfway through the video. I was going to get it up there by 10 or like quarter past 10 at the latest. And then the power just goes, like the computer dies. All the power goes except for the fucking lights. Everything except for the lights. It wasn't a blackout. It was a power outage. Anyway, you don't want to hear about all that. That's why I wasn't online. And that's why I didn't post those Sydney vids that I now have to totally re-edit because I was an idiot and didn't save them like the fucking dumb fuck that I am. And now, my God, let me get onto another subject. Bert, do you realize, you know, you told me about those crazy dreams. You know, I had a dream, all right, because I went up to North Sydney Station yesterday. Okay, this is the only relevant part of the day that was included in my dream, all right? I walked up to the station, okay? Yep, just like I did yesterday. That's going to be Treasy69. Hello? Oh, hello, hello, Tre Teresa. Uh, hey, how you going? Hey, say, say hello to everyone at YouTube. Uh, they can't hear you. They can only hear me. I was just telling them about my morning, but hey, I'll stop it and I'll, I'll chat to you. So, yeah, that's all right. Uh, sorry about that, guys. That was Treasy69 and Jody um, and Sean calling from um, Ohio. Wow, that was a spin out, wasn't it? Ended up talking to them on Skype because it was cheaper. But back to the story, okay, where I was telling you about, um, you know, I was walking up the hill to, to um, North Sydney, and then I came across my uh, grandmother, okay, and she was in a bit of a nutty mood, and she was um, going, Oh, hey there, Nicholas, will you drive? Oh, no, not drive me. And she said, Will you catch the bus with me? to um, Centennial Park or the Botanical Gardens or something. We're having a bit of a party. And I said, no, I can't really do that. And then she ran away. This is my 92-year-old grandmother. She ran down the road and into the chemist and bought a stack of medication, okay, like heaps of it, all right? And, um, and then I, I went and found where a bus stop was for her and I took her down there and... Um, and then I came across um, a bunch of my friends, like they'd come to have a kind of intervention with me. Like um, they had, these are my old high school friends, okay? They had all come to have an intervention saying, you got to stop posting videos on, on YouTube. Like, uh, like it was a new addiction and they had to talk me down from it. And uh, it was bizarre, okay? Because there was, there was people there that I wouldn't expect, people I wasn't even friends with, you know? Anyway, so, you know, we did that, and then, um, you know, I was walking down the road, and um, this, this, um, this, uh, these, this policeman was walking next to me, I didn't know he was a policeman, though, you know, and we were talking, and then he had to run into this house, and, um, and, you know, I was helping him out, and, you know, trying to do whatever I could do, then I realised he was a cop, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, well, shit, he's letting me get involved in the, you know, investigation, hey, I'll take this a bit more seriously, and then I saw under a car, piles of money, like, oh, millions and millions of dollars, and for some stupid reason, I pointed this out to the police, I said, hey, look, here, look at this, and then I grabbed some wads and shoved them in my pocket, it's so the second time that's happened in the last week where I've found heaps of money and shoved lots of it into my pocket. Um, and then um, then the weird part happened, okay? Now, this is what Bert was telling me about, okay? He, he, he told me that your dreams are going to get a bit surreal when you got the patches on. Look, wait, there's my new one for today. I made sure I put it on properly. I didn't touch the nicotine part because apparently it can kill you if you get it on your fingers and in your mouth. Um... Then I, um, yeah, this little kid he stole my video camera. He stole it off me. And he ran away, he ran down the street. And, um, you know, I followed him and then he climbed up these flight of stairs on top of a building. And then he fell off. Okay? And, um, and you know, I went up to him with two other people. And we were seeing if he's still alive. And his head was just totally smashed. It was like, um, 
its head was had just gone flat, like everything from inside his head had been out. It was like his head had been run over by a steamroller. You know, you could see all the skin and everything. And I, was, I felt his heart and he still had a heartbeat. And then his dad came along, which looked like the Vietnam War vet we got living downstairs. Like, I think that's who his dad was. Um, and, um, and, you know, he's kind of freaking out. But this was the part when I woke up because, I mean, it was really kind of freaky, like finding this... Um, kid dead with his head just smashed you know and um and then yeah i went back to sleep and some other bizarre things happened i woke up at a totally new place and um you know it was it was the morning after that night and and so, and someone else had swapped my video camera with someone else's and i was really pissed off and anyway i won't waffle on about that shit because we're already up to what, like seven minutes or something so um look i just wanted to say good morning to you and and explain why i wasn't on youtube last night we had a power outage and for um tara nara nara taylor the, the uh street performer the opera singer that i'm going to post up next um yeah, I want to say sorry I didn't get it up by 10 o'clock. I meant to and I tried to, but I, I couldn't get it done. We just lost all power apart from the light. So, bugger right. if I know what that means. Integral Energy told us there was power problems in McMullen's point. So, yeah, anyway, look, I'm going to sign off for now because this has gone on way too long. And a big shout out to Treasy, Jody, and Sean. Hey, guys, thanks for the call. Good on you, all right? And uh, everyone, word to your mothers.